Yo, what's up everyone? How's it here? Welcome to another video on my channel. We have uh, the Ravencore Team League just around the corner. Basically, this weekend is the very first qualifier. And I'm here to give you a few details, actually. What is going on exactly? What, who are the players? What are the teams? Uh, how does the format look like? And uh, as you may know, it's a crowdfunded tournament. So uh, we do have some milestones along the way as well. Uh, lots of them have been unlocked already. I'm super uh, super happy actually with the support that we are getting. Uh, for those that don't know, uh, the Raven Court uh, is, is a Discord basically. Um, Heroes of the Storm community. And um, I've been cooperating with them for this tournament. Which means I will be casting, or I'll be the main caster I guess. For both qualifiers and then the playoff phase. And uh, it starts this weekend. Saturday, Sunday is the very first uh, qualifier. And uh, yeah, let's have a look actually what's going on exactly. Let's dive in. So first of all, we have the, um, you know, the crowdfunding part of it. That's how we uh, kicked off things actually. And uh, most most marks or mi most milestones have a, have a check mark. Uh, real quick for the people that are interested, the community ARAMs are on Monday. Uh, let me double check. The 8th of July. So first qualifier is Saturday, Sunday, 6th and 7th. And then the day after is the community ARAMs. We will have pro players from, I think, basically all teams. And uh, you guys can join as well. Uh, we start at 8 p.m. CST on the European server. And uh, we're basically filling up the ARAM lobbies. We will have a few pro players. And then we get uh, people from the community in. And uh, if you haven't played a game yet, you will be on the priority list. Uh, so we get as many as possible uh, in the lobbies. That's basically the plan for the community ARAMs. Um, but yeah, who are the pro players? Let's actually have a look at the teams that signed up. Um, we have overall, we will, we will have two groups, uh, two qualifiers, A and B. And uh, it's five teams each. Uh, and in each qualifier, two of them will make it into the playoffs. So that's the that's the raw concept of the uh, of the tournament format, basically. Uh, as you can see on the screen, we have a bunch of uh, very well known players. Uh, some old school, some new school, and uh, I'm super hyped. Actually, I am very hyped. Most of these rosters uh, are kind of like a new mesh, like formed. Uh, recently or just for this tournament besides a very few exceptions for example the storm league enjoy us the polish team um this is obviously the five man stack or the five polish that are usually playing together same for the bobby kotick fan club i hope he's uh, having a good time on hawaii uh Malganier's team five frenchies together including x here uh, they have been playing for a long time already uh, mostly like Division 1, but also some other tournaments. So they've been um, playing with this roster for a while. Uh, but yeah, as I said, most other teams kind of merged together for this event. So we have Ash once again. Uh, this time with Lopaka, Morenas, uh, Miria, Limu and Renella. So still um, basically Russian-based core, but a few players have been swapped in and out. Looks Still looks very promising though. Um, Storm League Enjoyers, we just talked about them. Them Top two, that's an interesting one. I think one of the, <laughs> the very last teams to sign up for it. Uh, Banana, who very recently won, I think, Banshee Cup 2. Uh, and Johan, you can see, has a little, has a little uh, trophy here as well. Uh, also, I think, first place or, or runner-up. Uh, either way, both of them... Maybe they were even in the same team, by the way. But both of them had a lot of success uh, recently. Uh, outside of the the HEC tournament that was on the NA server, right? They haven't played there. Um, but yeah, they filled the ranks with Kaspar, Playa, and Danazowski. Looks very interesting. Could be a Dark Horse team, honestly. Uh, not quite sure what to expect. And then we have the, <laughs> the big black cats. Uh, that's actually a Division 1 team as well. I've seen them uh, playing over there. So I'm really curious to see them on the big stage. Uh, coming to Group B... And I have to say, Group B is definitely more stacked, guys. Like, it's, uh, it's, uh, 
it's it's a beast of a group keep, keep in mind only two of these teams actually make it out so we have the three like cats uh reinforced by uh, mopsio meneldor drakia hiraeth and captain rex uh vinland raiders actually they have the same name but the team kind of changed quite a bit if you look at it uh we have skook in there ultralisk and death knight and then Sven and Nano have been part of the team for a very long time. Now we get to something really spicy. Exodia stack. Bad Benny, Copenhagen, Dino, Bishops, and Yasu. Could be the tournament favorite if you only look at the names, I think. Definitely extremely stacked team. And I'm super curious to see them uh, in action. I, I was lucky enough to play one scrim block with them. And uh, yeah, they seemed uh, they seemed uh, in good shape, very strong for sure. Uh, to the bitter end, Crankle, Serdaf, Commander Rex, not Captain Rex, Disciple and Scorch. Um, I think a very recently formed team as well. You have people that are very high ranked in Storm League. Uh, Crankle, Serdaf, Scorch, I think Disciple is actually pretty high rank as well. And then Commander Rex, who had um, a showing in the last Banshee Cup, I think in team masquerade and he surprised many people with um some very clean plays he doesn't play much storm league but he's uh, one of the very best aaron players out there so yeah definitely a very interesting team as well it's a tough group though it's a really tough group and then for sure the underdogs in group b uh mg for fun edition uh morpheus epizorks rzmx under and galen gunner uh honestly I'm not too familiar with most of these players. I do know Galnegunner. Uh, and I think they kind of just formed as well last minute for this tournament. Uh, I think they are definitely the outsiders to make it out of this group. But uh, yeah, it's it's a stacked one. It's a really stacked one. Uh, coming or speaking of the groups, let's have a look uh, how that looks in detail because... Uh, we, we have a format where two of these teams in each group or in each qualifier will make it into the playoffs. And the playoffs will be double elimination, by the way. So Group A uh, kicks off with uh, the big big black cats versus the Kotiek uh, fan club. Uh, it's a best of three. The winner will play against Ash afterwards. And then we have Storm League Enjoyers versus Top 2. Top 2 is the team with Banana and Playa and so on. So um, I, my gut feeling tells me that both Ash and Storm League Enjoyers are the favorite in this group. But I could see an upset, definitely, I think. Um, and then Group B, as I said, kind of the group of death. We have uh, To The Bitter End, that's the team with Crankle and so on versus the For Fun Edition to kick off the group. Um... The winner faces the three leg cats and on the other side of the bracket we already have <laughs> we already have a a super high quality match vinland razors versus exodia stack basically in my opinion it could be a qualifier match you know whoever wins that ma will make it through and honestly i think who wins here has very good chance in the upper bracket final as well but uh, even the loser you know if you lose here, you still have the lower bracket. Like, you always get another chance. It's not single single elimination. So they can still make it through the, through the loser bracket, uh, even if they have a very tough draw to begin with. Um, but yeah, I am super stoked. By the way, Group A is uh, this weekend, Saturday, Sunday, as I said, 6th, 7th of July. Group B will be the weekend after. And uh, then we have the top four, right? which then proceeds into the playoffs. Um, yeah, honestly, if you are interested in this tournament and if you want to if you wanna donate some to the prize pool, check out the, the GoFundMe link. Um, help us or help supporting the project. Um, this is the very first time I am part of something like that, honestly. Usually I'm always on the other side playing, playing these tournaments, but uh, when I got asked, I thought it was a very good opportunity to give um, or, or to, to accept and give something back uh, that way as well. I do enjoy casting. And actually, uh, as you can see, Chris Heroes and BBJ, they are basically ready. They are basically ready to jump in <laughs> into the lobbies <laughs> and co-cast with me. I um, I did reach out to Mena. I know a lot of you asked me about Mena. Please get Mena back. And 
I legit tried my I I, I tried my best, but Mena is just too busy. He's you know he's he's pumping in real life. He has other things to do, and uh, Hots is currently not on the menu for him. Um, but yeah, Chris uh, will definitely make an appearance, and BBJ as well. I I talked to to a few others. Maybe we will get one more. Um, you know, it's 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 in the planning, but I can't uh, can't promise anything for that yet. But yeah, if you if you're curious, check it out. Uh, there's all the info down here as well. And uh, yeah, we're kicking off the tournament this weekend, Saturday, Sunday. I hope to see you on Twitch. And uh, mark the calendar for Monday as well if you want to be part of the community ARAMs uh, with the pro players. I think that should be a lot of fun as well. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the Nexus.